What is going on guys, Luke here, back for another video, and today we're going to be taking a look at what's new in iOS 9.3. So, one of the biggest additions to 9.3 is Night Shift. You can turn this on from the control center, and really what it does is give you this warm orange color to the display, which is meant to stop the blue light being distractive to your eyes at night. Of course, you can adjust this by heading straight over to the settings, and then displaying brightness, and then you have a whole range of different adjustments you can make. You can adjust the warmness of the display from less to more warm, however when you do turn it up past the centre, you do get a warning stating that it might affect the performance of other apps. You can also schedule this to come on at specific times as well. So you can click on times here and then change which time you want it on and want it off, or if you don't want this, you can set it to turn on at sunset and sunrise, which will use your current time and location to determine when it should be on or off. This doesn't work with low power mode turned on though, and the option does become greyed out if you try. So within the news app now, we do have a small change from 9.2, so you can now swipe a news item to the left and get presented with three options, the like, save and share. However, if you do want to swipe to the right, you do get another three options, which are dislike, mute channel, or report. The display of these options does differ depending on the size of the news item, so bigger news items will have a slightly smaller layout. If you're using the news app on an iPad, for example, it is a little different, so if you're on the iPad, you just have to press down on the news item to get the same options up, not swipe to the left or right. Heading up to the Photos app now, we have been provided with the option to duplicate pictures. You can use this for example if you take an original picture but want to make a change to it, you can duplicate it and then make the change without it affecting the original. Notes is another app that has been improved as well, and we now get the option to password protect our notes. Within a note, if you press on the action item within the top right hand corner, you can see the option to password protect the note. Once clicked, you will be prompted to set a password and a password hints, and then once that is set, the note will then become locked. To regain access to the note, I will have to type in the password or use Touch ID. However, if you no longer want the password, you can remove it the same way as you set it, just by heading back over to the action items and then select Remove Password. All of the changes I have mentioned above are really just the main changes to iOS 9.3, minus the smaller changes to settings or certain apps, so if you do want to see everything that Apple have changed in 9.3, do head over to Apple's website for more information. But that is it for this video though, if you did enjoy it then do hit that like button to show me how much. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you all in the next one.